Michael D. Watkins. The Six Disciplines of Strategic Thinking. Leading your organization into the future. Have you ever wondered why some leaders seem to navigate the complexities of the modern world with ease, turning challenges into opportunities? Their secret lies in their ability to think strategically, a skill that has become increasingly vital in our fast-paced, interconnected global environment. Whether you're leading a business, a non-profit organization, or just steering your own career, understanding and applying strategic thinking can be the difference between success and failure. In a world where technological advancements and globalization are reshaping the landscape, the ability to anticipate, adapt, and innovate is more important than ever. Strategic thinking isn't just about making plans. It's about understanding and responding to an ever-changing environment. It involves recognizing patterns, analyzing complex systems, and maintaining mental agility. It's about solving problems systematically, crafting a vision, and navigating organizational politics. These six skills aren't just for top executives. They're essential for anyone who wants to thrive in today's dynamic world. In this blink, you'll learn about these six key disciplines of strategic thinking, which will help you identify and seize opportunities, anticipate risks, and lead effectively. So, if you're ready to elevate your leadership skills and steer your organization or career towards success, you're in the right place. You're about to embark on a journey to master the art of strategic thinking, a journey that will equip you with the tools to thrive. Mastering Pattern Recognition in Strategic Decision Making How do you decide what to focus on amid a constant barrage of information and rapidly shifting market conditions? This is where the discipline of pattern recognition becomes crucial. Pattern recognition is the ability to discern significant trends and signals in complex environments. It's like being able to read the story behind a set of data points or market changes. In business, this means observing the intricate domains your organization operates in and pinpointing the essential elements. It's not just about seeing what's happening. It's about understanding why it's happening and what it means for the future. An essential aspect of pattern recognition in strategic thinking is what Watkins calls the Recognize, Prioritize, Mobilize, or RPM cycle. First, you recognize the critical patterns or changes in your business environment. Next, you prioritize these based on their potential impact on your organization. Finally, you mobilize resources and actions to respond effectively. This cycle is a dynamic, ongoing process that helps you stay ahead in competitive markets. Artificial intelligence is increasingly playing a role in enhancing pattern recognition. AI systems with their vast data processing abilities can provide insights and predictions that were previously unavailable, but they can't replace the human element. In the unpredictable and often ambiguous business world, your ability to discern important patterns and use these insights strategically remains indispensable. Improving your pattern recognition involves developing mental models of your business domain. You can enhance this skill through a blend of focused learning and practical application. Immerse yourself in your industry, understand cause and effect relationships, and stay attuned to changes. Keep track of evolving consumer behaviors, emerging technologies, and innovative campaign strategies. Read industry reports, attend seminars, and engage in forums where new ideas are discussed. You should also learn from both success and failure, not just in your own experiences, but also from others in your field. Analyze case studies and real-world scenarios to understand what worked and what didn't. Interact with experts and mentors in your field too. Their experience can provide insights that go beyond the surface level of understanding. Focus on how they interpret trends and make decisions. By combining these methods, you can strengthen your pattern recognition ability, crucial for making strategic decisions in fast-paced and complex environments. Managing complexity with systems analysis. Have you ever wondered how successful businesses navigate complex environments and make decisions that seem to anticipate the future? This understanding is often rooted in the discipline of systems analysis. Systems analysis involves constructing mental models to comprehend more fully intricate environments like your business's competitive landscape.
It starts with dissecting complex situations into their components, understanding how these elements interact, and then using this insight to map out crucial cause-effect relationships. Internally, this approach helps you identify how different parts of your organization, like processes and functions, are interconnected. Externally, it allows you to grasp how your business interacts with external factors, such as market forces, customers, and regulations, leading to strategic opportunities for growth. At the heart of systems analysis is the holistic view of systems. It focuses on the interactions within a system rather than isolated components, recognizing that changes in one area can significantly impact others. This perspective is important for addressing complex problems and making informed decisions. In practice, systems analysis enhances your ability to quickly identify challenges and opportunities, leading to rapid strategy development. This method has been instrumental in diverse fields, from climate science to economics, where it helps model and predict complex phenomena. An example of systems analysis in real-world application can be seen in global logistics, where a seemingly minor event like the ever-given ship getting stuck in the Suez Canal caused a massive disruption in global trade. This incident showcased the interconnected nature of global systems and the cascading effects of small disruptions. In strategic thinking, systems analysis involves creating models, both computer-based and mental, to understand and navigate the complexities of business environments. By viewing your business and its challenges as systems, you gain insights into internal dynamics and external influences, enabling you to anticipate and prepare for whatever scenarios come your way. Enhancing your mental agility in strategic thinking. In chess, every move is a combination of immediate tactics and long-term strategy. The best players not only understand the current state of the board, but also envision several moves ahead, adapting their strategy as the game unfolds. This ability to think flexibly and strategically is at the heart of the discipline of mental agility. Mental agility in strategic thinking is about being able to absorb new information rapidly and refocus on what is most relevant, especially in a landscape characterized by complexity, uncertainty, volatility and ambiguity. It builds upon the foundations of pattern recognition and systems analysis, allowing you to continually rethink the best ways to move your organization forward. Two key cognitive abilities underpin mental agility, level shifting and game playing. Level shifting is the ability to analyze challenging business situations at different levels. It's about seeing both the forest and the trees, understanding the implications of present decisions for the future, and moving fluidly between these perspectives. Gene Woods, a notable leader, encapsulated this as being cloud-to-ground thinkers, adept at crafting strategy while being deeply aware of operational realities. Game playing, the second pillar of mental agility, is about strategizing in the complex interplay of business, akin to a game of chess with multiple intelligent players. It involves anticipating the moves of competitors, customers, suppliers and regulators and incorporating their likely actions into your strategy. This aspect of mental agility is rooted in game theory, the science of strategizing in situations involving multiple actors with potentially conflicting interests. To effectively develop your mental agility, consider adopting practices like regularly shifting your perspective between strategic overviews and operational details. This helps in maintaining a balance between high-level planning and ground-level execution. Engaging in strategic games such as chess can also be beneficial. These games sharpen your foresight and adaptability, essential skills in strategic thinking. Additionally, utilizing scenario planning and role-playing exercises can simulate complex business situations, providing a practical playground for honing your strategic skills. Shaping Futures Through Inclusive Visioning When Gene Woods became CEO of CHS, a modest-sized healthcare system, he was faced with the challenge of steering the organization toward a sustainable future in an evolving industry. Woods chose an inclusive approach to visioning, embarking on an extensive bottom-up listening tour. 
He spent significant time conversing with employees, understanding their perceptions and aspirations, and probing into the organization's strengths and potential areas of growth. From these conversations, Woods crafted a vision that resonated deeply with the organization's broader purpose, aligning with employees' desires to impact health positively. This vision, emphasizing hope and healing, wasn't just a declaration, but a catalyst for transformation. Woods's vision was encapsulated in the new mission statement, to improve health, elevate hope, and advance healing for all. The phrase, for all, was pivotal, affirming CHS's commitment to serving a diverse patient base from the most privileged to the most vulnerable. This case exemplifies the essence of visioning in leadership. It's about creating a future picture that's both aspirational and grounded in the organization's reality. A successful vision is descriptive and specific, stretching the organization while remaining achievable. To enhance your visioning capabilities, you can adopt several strategies. One effective approach is to engage in forward-looking exercises, envisioning a desirable future and then working backward to delineate the steps needed to achieve it. This method, akin to backward induction in game theory, requires you to be imaginative yet pragmatic in charting a path to your envisioned future. Another approach is effectuation, where you take stock of current resources and capabilities and envision what can be realistically achieved with them. This method encourages practicality and resourcefulness, ensuring that the vision is grounded in your organization's present context. You can also develop your visioning skills by actively engaging with your team and broader organization. Visioning workshops, where teams collectively brainstorm and envision the future, can be particularly beneficial. These sessions allow for the pooling of diverse perspectives and ideas, enriching the visioning process. Regularly practicing visualization exercises, such as imagining changes to existing spaces or scenarios, can also sharpen your visioning skills. Keep a journal to capture thoughts and insights to help crystallize ideas and foster your innovative thinking. In communicating the vision, you should aim for powerful simplification. Convey complex ideas in straightforward, evocative terms. Storytelling, using metaphors, and repeating key messages can help embed the vision in your organization's culture. You should always embody the vision in your actions and decisions, ensuring alignment between what you say and what you do. Visioning is a dynamic process of creating and communicating a compelling future state for an organization. It involves balancing ambition with feasibility, inspiring collective effort, and aligning the vision with your organization's mission, values, and strategy. Unraveling challenges with structured problem solving. Have you ever been confronted with a problem so complex and tangled it seemed insurmountable? This is where the discipline of structured problem solving becomes indispensable, serving as an essential skill for strategic thinkers. This methodical approach segments the process of addressing significant organizational challenges and opportunities into distinct, manageable steps, fostering structure alongside creativity. The structured problem solving process unfolds through five key phases. It starts with defining roles and communicating the process where identifying key stakeholders, understanding their roles, and clearly communicating the process ensure everyone is on the same page. The second phase, framing the problem, is about articulating the issue accurately, setting a clear understanding as the groundwork for effective problem solving. The third phase, exploring potential solutions, is a stage for creativity, involving brainstorming and generating a range of possibilities before selecting the most promising ones. In the fourth phase, deciding on the best option, the focus is on critical analysis and making trade-offs among various options to identify the most effective solution. The final phase involves a commitment to a course of action, which includes allocating resources and defining steps to implement the chosen solution. Structured problem solving is especially important for tackling big problems characterized by complexity, uncertainty, volatility and ambiguity. These types of problems necessitate a systematic approach to comprehend and manage their intricacies. This process aids in neutralizing threats to prevent value destruction and in capitalizing on opportunities to create value. 
To develop your expertise in structured problem solving, engage in exercises that encompass all these phases. Start with simple challenges, then progress to complex ones. Take part in discussions and observe how the team frames and brainstorms solutions. Give feedback and guidance. Workshops and training sessions focused on critical thinking and problem solving techniques can also offer new insights. Regular practice and reflection on these experiences will sharpen your ability to effectively manage and resolve complex business challenges. Political savvy, strategic influence and alliances in organisations. Imagine you're a skilled sailor, setting out on a vast and unpredictable sea. Your goal is to navigate these waters successfully, steering clear of hidden reefs and treacherous currents, all while harnessing the wind to propel you forward. This scenario parallels the journey of a leader in the corporate world, where navigating the intricate dynamics of power, influence and alliances within an organisation is akin to steering a ship towards success. Consider the story of Alina Nowak. Her name has been changed. At Van Horn Foods, which exemplifies the importance of political savvy and corporate leadership. Alina, a high-performing executive, rose rapidly within the company to become the regional vice president of marketing for Europe, the Middle East and Africa. In this role, she faced the challenge of managing the balance between centralising and decentralising product development decisions. Despite her initial enthusiasm and consultations with managing directors and superiors, Alina encountered a complex network of internal politics. Her strategy to centralise certain areas while granting more local flexibility met resistance from various stakeholders, exposing the underlying political landscape she had to navigate. This situation highlighted the limitations of relying solely on positional authority and underscored the need for strategic manoeuvring and influence. To cultivate your political savvy, you need first to accept and understand the role of politics in organisational dynamics. View your organisation as a network of individuals with distinct agendas and power bases. Your success hinges on identifying and engaging with key decision makers, understanding their agendas and aligning them with your own. Effective influence in organisations encompasses a range of strategies, including active consultation, persuasive framing of ideas, leveraging social pressure and carefully shaping choices. In Alina's case, employing these strategies could have involved reworking her proposal to align with the interests of influential figures and systematically approaching them to build support for her agenda. Emotional intelligence is another essential component of political savvy. It entails the ability to comprehend and empathise with others' emotions and viewpoints, coupled with self-awareness and the ability to regulate your own emotional responses. Techniques like the perceptual positions, Exercise where you step into others' shoes to see situations from their perspectives can enhance this aspect, enabling you to adapt your approach based on different perspectives.